a pernicious threat from within. All that and more now on Draft's Grievances. Days before Thanksgiving, two fistfights nearly breaking out on Capitol Hill. First, former Speaker of the House, Kevin McCarthy, allegedly shoving Republican Congressman Tim Burchett in the basement of the Capitol. The incident unfolding right in front of a reporter as she was interviewing the Tennessee representative who voted to oust McCarthy as Speaker last month. Following McCarthy's shove, Burchett chasing after him, calling McCarthy a, quote, jerk, chicken, and pathetic. Meanwhile, on the other side of the Capitol, Senator Mark Wayne Mullen was challenging a labor leader to a physical fight during a committee hearing. The Republican of Oklahoma rising from his chair and reaching to remove his ring in preparation for a brawl with Sean O'Brien, the president of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. The episode only de-escalating thanks to Senator Bernie Sanders. The Independent of Vermont yelling at Mullen, a former mixed martial arts fighter, to sit back down and reminding him, quote, you're a United States senator. The outrageous clashes on both sides of the Capitol, disgusting and despicable. Here are two of the most powerful men in all of the world, literally acting worse than troubled middle schoolers. They should obviously not only be ashamed of themselves, which they are not, but the Republican Party should demand they resign immediately. Of course, that will not happen, and as a direct result, I fear such barbaric behavior will not only continue, but escalate. It is really hard to see the unraveling of decorum amongst Republicans as anything other than a direct result of Donald Trump. The former president has a long history of stoking violence and defending those who attack his enemies. And now, as he seeks to capture the 2024 Republican presidential nomination, Trump is echoing the dehumanizing rhetoric of Adolf Hitler. Trump vowing this past weekend to, quote, root out the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country. In the 1930s, Nazi propaganda infamously referred to the Jewish people as, quote, vermin who needed to be extinguished for plaguing lands. Trump also parroting Hitler with his claim that undocumented immigrants are, quote, poisoning the blood of our country. The Nazi dictator literally employed the same language in his manifesto to claim that immigrants, Jews, and interracial couples were somehow impure. And while President Joe Biden has condemned Trump for his increasing use of extreme Nazi rhetoric, top Republicans refused to do so. Republican National Committee Chair Ronna Romney McDaniel saying on Meet the Press that she would not comment on candidates' campaign messaging when directly confronted with Trump's vermin remarks. McDaniel's cowardliness leading former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney to conclude that McDaniel is collaborating with Trump despite her stated neutrality in the GOP presidential primary. As for the new, holier-than-thou Speaker of the House, Republican Mike Johnson, Trump has his wholehearted endorsement. Just days after Trump's vermin comments, Johnson saying, quote, I'm all in for President Trump. I expect he'll be our nominee, and we have to make Biden a one-term president. This coming from a man who incessantly invokes his Christian faith and just eight years ago wrote that Trump was unfit for public office and could be, quote, dangerous as president. So how does Johnson explain his Trump conversion? The speaker telling the New York Times, quote, When I got to know Trump personally, I grew to appreciate the person that he is. So wait, Johnson is saying that once he learned more about Trump and his admiration for Hitler and authoritarianism, he grew to like Trump? 
Good luck explaining that at the pearly gates. Trump is correct about one thing. America faces a pernicious threat from within. However, that threat is not liberals or conservatives. It is him. Thank you for watching Graph's Grievances. Let me know what you think. Please like, subscribe, share, and join me tomorrow for more.